All right, guys, welcome to the associate session for October 4th. So tonight we're going to do two two topics for sure. Uh, one is I'm going to actually sh show you guys. I made some changes. I made some additions to that EMD document from last week. Um, some of the stuff that Doris sent me was pretty easy. So there's some th 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 things I got to restructure, and I'm going to kind of show you guys in the screen share where I um, where I, I still got to put some check boxes. Basically, do some, you know, basically make some organization for check boxes, signature boxes, things like that, um, and then a checklist. And then I've got a, a, some stuff in there that just generally helps the guidelines. So there's going to be a little bit of work over the weekend, and we will be live. Um, it should be ready to go by next Wednesday, if not sooner. And you guys who are learning EMD can use it. We're also going to talk about our one on one program, which is what we've been talking about. If you guys have been paying attention the last couple of weeks, I've mentioned quite a few times, both on Facebook as well as in the group that we are doing a borrower client group. Basically, we are going to recruit new, uh, semi, you know, experienced, you know, people that are newer that need to they want to build and scale. They basically is going to be a group for you guys as associates. They'll come in basically get a baseline, probably ten to fifteen percent of the uh, of what you guys get, and they'll come in and they'll basically be there to work with, for you guys to work with. If you're loaning EMD money or GAP money or you're a broker or you're a lender, they'll be good clients for you as well as associates. And the associates you can find people to partner with and things like that and bring you deals if you're looking for uh, you're looking for properties. So we're gonna do it as a second group and it's gonna be uh it we're calling the one on one just like, you know, school, like college one on one. We're basically just really bringing people in and it's open to people who are brand new, all the way to people who are experienced. We've been working on this concept for a while. And it's basically to give you guys or the associates a base, you know, a group to work with, a group to mentor, a group for you to pass on the knowledge you've learned here. So for me and Kevin and all that stuff, we're able to actually pass on all our knowledge to you guys. You guys will have this group to basically and work with. You guys with. sit around 180 degrees and do the same thing. Yes. Uh, one more thing when it goes to the EMD group, um, we're going to try to have this. All, I'm, I'm working on trying to get this together where we can actually have that thing go active in the next week or so we'll have some projects that might qualify and then i have a meeting after this um going over some other stuff so hopefully we'll have a functioning emd program fully organized within the next week to 10 days and then uh, by the time december gets here and everybody shuts down everybody be getting turkeyed up and hammed up and getting fat and all kinds of lazy and everything else First of January gets here, boom, three to four thousand more people will be knocking on our door going, Hey, we hear you have some money. Can we get with you, please? At that point in time, you'll understand what this whole thing has been about. Um, yeah, you, so we're kind of coming to a close here. Yeah, um, you guys, uh, we've got about a, maybe six weeks to get the bugs worked out with everybody. But by the time the door gets opened up, then uh, everybody be all slick and ready to go. So we'll have some dress rehearsals. Um, you know, Nate will be able to put a few of those together, too. Um, probably the, the one-on-one thing he's going to talk about tonight would be one that he'll be handling on that. And then I'll be working on the, the EMD side. So hopefully we'll be all set to go and you know, for the next two to three weeks. So, guys, the, the beauty of this is you'll have – I mean, you have it now. A lot of the guys that are in here that want to loan EMD money have money to, they can loan to you. And you guys obviously – the difference between the one-on-one -on -one group and the associates group is you guys have direct access, you have direct links and all that stuff. Obviously, you're in this program with people that are lending money. And if you're lending money, you've got people already in the group. What the one-on-one -on -one program is going to take all of the 100 and something associates that we're going to have by the end of October, you guys all have a, a base of borrowers, clients, and business, uh, partners, people you can work with, so you can bring you deals, you can uh, if you're lending money, you can fund deals. So it's basically we're trying to create a, a whole um, group that you guys basically have for your, you know, that helps you a lot. It's basically to build value for you guys who are associates. Because, you know, we have uh, probably uh, 50 people, half the group in the associates are lenders or brokers, and the other half aren't lending or brokering, or, you know, they may not want to. So we want to give an opportunity for everybody to have, you know, we're going to cap it at, it's going to be captive. We're going to try to get a couple you know, a thousand people because that's the best way to do it is get a lot of people in that group. It's going to be a monitor group. There's not going to be anybody joining. And there's going to be like only three people letting people into that group. It's going to be just like this one hidden. And it's going to be, um, it's going to be private, but visible. 
only because you know you guys all know who you know i mean sean i think you're one of the most recent ones who came in and you know it took me like three i have to invite people three different ways to get them in the group and it kind of that's a it's a facebook thing it's not like ours it's like man it's like any of the group i have it's like it's a one somebody has to join i push a button here you know so we're going to have it private but visible so people will see it but there's only going to be like maybe me and maybe two, one or two other people that let people in that group but you guys are associates we'll get the next week or two we'll put the link in tomorrow you guys can join obviously you're already in so you can join that group and then you're basically there to help you know pass on the knowledge pass on your knowledge and then start developing relationships where you can do, make you can do business deals with them do acquisitions with them you can lend them money money if you've got a program you can Basically, if you, this is that group is for you guys. This whole group is going to be basically to build you guys. It's to, a lot of people ask what the value of, you know, the um, a lot of stuff has happened organically. And we are talking to, you know, we got 87, 88 people in the group. So last week on this, on the Wednesday night, we had 28 watch hours, 28 and a half. We can see that on YouTube. We can't see it really on Facebook. So people are watching the videos after, even if they're not on. Obviously, people have a lot of, you know, nine to fives or they have children, they have things like that. So we do make it sure that if you guys miss um, about an hour and a half after we end tonight, I will have the video posted in the group so you can download it and uh, or watch it again. Um, we don't put these on the public side of YouTube. Matter of fact, I haven't done a public YouTube video since probably early August. That's probably the last one I did. So trying to concentrate on you guys and uh, getting all this information to you and videos i put there aren't extensive or is aren't as extensive as obviously we here we're interactive it's with you guys answering questions and stuff where and the public side of youtube it's just pretty much me doing videos and you know kevin did a few of them with me early and we have we had a few guests but mainly we want to build this whole group for you so it's gonna like i said we're calling it the 101 program just like like i said a college 101 class it's basically anybody that want anybody that wants to flip if they want to be a wholesaler, guys, we have, you know, and you guys want to wholesale too. It's a great way to get an income stream, but it's, we're going to, we're doing it differently because we got the EMB people. So we will have the wholesaling contract to purchase a sale uh, agreement, the A to B contract, the B to C contract, promissory note, and now this EMB form that we have written with your help, with your input, and that'll be proprietary. So those documents will go. So if you want to wholesale, you bring a prop, you want to, you know, you basically get a loan from an EMD lender in our group. They're going to fund you on the A to B side, which means they're the, the seller, then they're the wholesaler. You're funding them. You're getting repaid on the B to C. Um, so buy out of the assignment fee. And we're going to obviously have a little bit of structure next week. Kevin's got his meeting tonight. And there's some different fees and stuff you can charge based on, you know, if you're just doing an in and out one day, it's like you're funding it. You know, you might have to send it to the title company a couple of days earlier, but realistically, if it's funded on Wednesday, if it's closed on a Wednesday, it's an A to B and the B to C is also on Wednesday. You're obviously charging a little bit less than, say, if it's going to be a week or it's going to be, you know, longer, which you get a say. So we're going to see kind of tonight the, the the basic document. I Like I said, I still have a little bit of cleanup work to do. I've got to add some check boxes. I've got to add some signature boxes and things like that, a little bit of organization. You'll see at the last page, um, just general information and all this stuff. And we also call it direction to pay. And then next week, once we're live, we're going to basically go through a few more things that you're going to have to do on your own. I'm not going to come up with the direction. Of, you know, you guys have all seen when people ask for your, you know, your banking information, routing number and all that, the standard forms are for wire transfers, things like that. So we're just going to kind of tell you the things you need to go into it. If you're an EMD lender, EMD funder, and you need to have one of those on your letterhead, your own letterhead to go to the title company with you. And you obviously then work with them and to get your information, just like anybody else in, involved with the transaction, you'll get the, you know, you'll get your, uh, your banking information for the wire transfer, the direct deposit. When you are doing uh, anything with a title company these days, and it's remote, you're getting direct deposit or wire transfer. Um, I've only been paid one, one time with a check and that's only because the title company is in denver and i'm 20 minutes away so i was able to go to their office and get a check but most of the time it's going to be a wire transfer a direct deposit so it's a pretty good situation guys um so i'm just going to see uh just real quick case is going to be on he's on it he's going to be coming he's in a meeting right now gwen's not is muted so 
we have a few people coming on a little, little bit later um, in this. So I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to show you guys this document. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of go through it a little slower just because I want to show people that aren't on tonight. So I'm asking everybody to try to get me feedback by Monday next week. And then next Wednesday, uh, we will be live at this document. After I put the, you know, it's basically some desktop publishing stuff. I got to put, like I said, the check box and signature box, and, you know, make it look a little, you know, make it look like a, a, a really a professional document. Right now, I, it's in Word, but I'm going to show you guys PDF just to make it easier tonight. So everybody's kind of know if you guys are newer, you know, I kind of sometimes struggle with the screen share. So let me go ahead and see if I, if I have that. Let me see if I can pull it. It takes a second to pull this up. Oh, I'm pulling up the word by accident. It doesn't matter. It's the same one. Give me one second while the word comes, document comes up. Okay, I gotta go back. It's a stupid little glitch because I've seen my. There we go. Cool. All right. So I apologize. It's in Word, so it's not going to be as. Um, it's not a, since it's not a finished document. Um, so let me go ahead and kind of just show you guys a few things. I did post this, guys, earlier in the group, so you can actually download if you want to look at it. There's a, still a draft. And nothing really has changed in these parts, these sections. I put a few things in here. Um, I'm gonna. So what I'm going to do is obviously, you know, I'm going to put some uh, check boxes and some signature boxes and also some initials. I like to have initials in, like, all my... I did add this. It is agreed that all parties agree that this money is not part of the down payment and shall be repaid to the lender name for the interest proceeds owed upon settlement at close of escrow. Should the transaction not close, is it to be refunded entirely to the lender at no cost to them? And so we're going to put a few like initial boxes, like initials, seller's initials, buyer's initials, uh, lender initials, or you know, we'll put different initials. Um, we always have loan firms. Guys, also, this will be where we have some boxes here. I'm just going to make these like real boxes. Um, so that way, and it may have to be down on this this lower part here. Um, that way, you got the percentage and the money, so there's no questions asked. You're loaning at ten percent. Then, if it's five thousand dollars, you're loaning at ten percent. Then this will be five hundred dollars. Then there'll be a, you know, there's going to be this is probably going to be about another page just because of putting in the initials and the signatures. So what I did add, we get down into. This is some information that uh, I basically am still kind of working on this. So this is new from last week, and Doris, can, uh, she actually contributed a lot of this. Actually, while we were on last week, which is great, Doris, have, that was pretty impressive. So while we were talking about this last week, she thought of several things that she had heard from you guys talking about it. So I've got a few things to clean up here. Obviously, you know, we got a few extra things, so... Keep in mind, anything you guys see, there's a typo or something like that, that'll be cleaned up. So this is still a rough draft. Um, but I put in here, earnest money deposit or EMD funds will only be sent to the escrow agent, title company, or attorney. No exceptions. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to I'm gonna make this, you know, look pretty standard. And I said, if the seller wholesaler, so the fault or title company does not return your EMD, then the EMD lender shall be entitled to lien and or interest in the property. So we're going to have... Uh, I'm sending it to my lawyer next. It's going to be next week after I get the feedback. We go live. The lawyer is basically going to give me some a little bit more language, about an, a line or two of more language for this. That way, if you're loaning EMD money for some reason, you don't get it right away, then you should be able to get at least a second position on the on the deal. Obviously, we're trying to get this repaid. The goal is to have it repaid at closing. Their inspection period should to be considered for EMD inspection period keep and I will change some of the I'm gonna put this through a uh, you know through obviously uh, you know spelling 
and stuff like that, spell check. Uh, business days need to be completed, conditions accepted, and copy of inspection report and conditions, and then accept or reject the EMD lender. So generally speaking, in the past, an EMD, EMD is a newer thing, lending EMD, that is, is the newer thing. So we haven't seen a lot of EMD lenders ask for inspection. So we will put this in there as like a checkbox. If, if you guys agree to an inspection period, then you will check it and then you will both, uh, you know, initial it. Because like I said, this is such a new thing. Most title companies don't know. And, and you know, you're an EMD lender, you're loaning like, you know, is, are you going to be wanting an inspection done? It's like, you don't really have a whole lot of, of uh, you're not, you don't have any interest in the property once you repaid at closing. So that is going to be kind of a question mark. If people who are listening or people who are on want to kind of think about over the weekend and give me some feedback on that, if you want an inspection period. And then, like I said, I will make it where if there's not an inspection period, I'll say yes or no. If there's no, then obviously we don't sign it. But if there's yes, then we'll put initial down here. So that way we can say that, hey, there has to be an initial, you know, inspection period and things like this. And I call this the seller's file. The seller will submit copies of the contract area, you know, comps. It's probably not, not really area comps. So I'll take that out. Liens against property scope of work with estimated completion schedule with EMD lender. The question here is, again, if you're doing a rehab, the, the EMD lender is already out of the deal. They've already been repaid. So this is a question mark. Um, you know, whether we leave this in or not. I'm leaving this in because tonight, just to kind of show that I'm thinking about, you know, if we if we change the industry a little bit and we throw a few things into these EMB agreements that we can kind of maybe change the industry a little bit. And, but then again, like I said, the EMB lenders are out. You're paid at closing. You have no, you know, you know, it's to be honest, it's not like having, like loaning money on the flip or loaning money on a rental property. You're completely done. You're paid back. You're, at, you're pretty much out of the transaction. Um, you want to obviously maintain good relations with the uh, with your client who you loan money to because they could be a you know a rinse and repeat client, which is great. Now here's another thing: transaction coordination. So some of these are questions. Like I said, I downloaded this, I uploaded this into the files tab, so you guys can uh, into the group today, so you guys can download this and look through all this and give me your feedback by like I said Monday. Um, as I said, some of this stuff really doesn't pertain to an EMB lender. But, uh, you know, it's uh, because, like I said, you're 100% out. And, um, but you are going to have a transaction coordinator. Generally, most most lenders are going to have a, a transaction coordinator that works with the title company that's going to do the HUD-1 and the settlement uh, statement. Because you want to stay on this, like, seller to provide buyer settlement company, closing attorney, name, address, phone, fax, you know, hours of operation, name a transaction coordinator. You're going to want to be able to talk to the transaction coordinator you as an EMD lender are going to want to get within 24 hours of the closing of the settlement statement or a HUD-1 if it's a single family. Um, a lot Some lenders don't use HUD-1, but they'll still have a settlement statement. And we've gone over that. And you guys can like download the HUD-1 and see what the government requires. Obviously, it's not, like I said, a lot of uh, private money lenders, hard money lenders, things like that, they don't use the HUD-1. They may have their own settlement. It's not required. It's only required by the government and like regular conventional mortgages. So you're going to want to get a copy of the settlement, which you make sure that you are paid out of, you are being paid out of the assignment fee. So if you loan, again, if you loan $5,000 at 10%, you are getting paid $5,500. So you have $500 interest proceeds. So you want to make sure that that is on that statement and then that title company knows direction to pay that they are paying AAA, whatever you are, um, and this is your account number, your routing information, and the name of the individual re that's receiving. That way it goes to your bank, whether it's a wire transfer or a direct deposit. If it's a check, they're going to mail it to you. Keep in mind, if it's a check, you're not going to see it, what, seven, probably seven business days um, with the post office. So, you know, they rarely will FedEx or UPS. Title companies will just go the cheapest, and that's what, a 50 cent stamp. So, that's another thing to think about. You'll have direction to pay. Like I said, we're going to go over that next week once we have this final. This is just one more week from being finalized. I'll take some of this out, change some of the language, put the signature boxes in the check boxes, and this will be a live proprietary document of our group. So I put also some notes in here and a suggestion. An important note, your EMD lender may want to have a conversation with the transaction coordinator 
to make sure he or she understands the contract and says the seller buyer does not get the EMD funds. EMD funds, and I'll change this to R, be returned to EMD lender. Also, transaction coordinator should have you on the HUD-1 uh, list or settlement statement. We just talked about that. And you're entitled to receive a copy of the document for accuracy of the EMD amount he's associated with the EMD. So that's another line. And we can take feedback tonight and talk about it, and then obviously over the weekend. Now, uh, this is great. Doris wrote this. So to look at our credits, so this is pretty cool stuff. I had to ask, think about what you were saying in a couple of these, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's some good and it's food for thought. A couple more people trying to join. Give me one second. I'm trying to get Matt and Zeke in. Um, Matt and Zeke are trying to get in. Uh, you may want to do a dry tra wire transfer test. So they're not always, like I said, they're not always going to do wire transfer. They Some places are set up now to do direct deposit. You know, they, they want to set you up. They'll get you approved. You'll have a direct deposit form that the lender will, I mean, the uh, title company will send you. Or they'll do a wire transfer or a check. But like I said, check. If you get a check, it's going to be rare. Maybe one out of every hundred or so. Um, but this is where I have, I'm not sure exactly what you were trying to say here, though. Uh, Doris on this, but it's cool. Um, obviously, like I said, we, you know, you always want well, to get, yeah. If, if, if you never did a wire transfer. Yeah, you, doing a test run. I understand that. I'm just trying to say the 0. 0.27 and 0. 0.44. 27 cents, 44 cents. That's oh, all okay, it. stamps. That's why I say yeah. small potato. You know, you don't need to send it. If you were to send two, 2K two to a wire. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Now I know exactly what you're meaning because when they try to, when banks try to do that thing where they put in cents to verify your account. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. That, that makes sense. And, and, and then it'll give you a, a, a back, a background check to make sure that the warrant information you have is accurate so that when yeah. you, when you really send the money, you can be assured it's, it's going to the right place and not getting lost somewhere. All, in they, do, all they do is they ping the account. You're talking yeah. about a wire thing. Yeah, they do. Um, and that's something we, so I'll probably just change that to what, because I put this as a suggestion, I'll probably take this out. But uh, I probably put in there because a lot of banks now are using Plaid or they're using, and there's another one out there uh, that I just saw that uh, I went through on a deal. Um, decision logic or something like that. So the banks are sophisticated now where they don't have to do the send you 50 cents or whatever. To, they actually have a, a thing that, People actually, you know, they lock you. They send you a thing. You it hits your account. You log into your account. They don't lock. But they see your account. They get, they see it in read only, and that's how they verify it. That's actually a lot of the the uh, payday advance and the uh, merchant cash advance uh, lenders operate. Um, they will actually do it. Like Kevin said, it's like a ping. They go in and verify you have an account that that account number that that account number exists, and that they can. Uh, transact with that account so it's not really they don't really do the send you, you know 30 cents or 13 cents or whatever anymore they've kind of moved past that they've got them pretty sophisticated um so as far as that goes so i will probably take that out like i said i'm going to go through up here and just for the people who haven't been here before i'll kind of go through a couple of things on here again real quick because i do want to make sure that people uh understand this so loan terms you know, we're going to get into the lender agrees to provide a loan of, we're going to put the amount in there again, even though we have the amount in there where the interest is to the borrower as an earnest money deposit for the purchase of the above mentioned real, real property. So obviously guys, you know, this, the A to B is basically the seller and the B is the wholesaler. So if you are a wholesaler, you the A is whoever you're buying the property from, then you are the B on the, the B to C. So that the C is your buyer. So you are funding, if you're an EMD lender, you're loaning the $5,000 to the wholesaler on the A to B, then you are getting repaid on the B to C. Those two transactions pretty much have to be simultaneous or back to back. They're usually, they're done at the same title company. We'll also put this in, these have to be done at the same title company or escrow agency. They, they cannot be separate. Otherwise, you know, so never ever allow anyone to use two title companies. Generally speaking, a lot of the sell the wholesalers are going to be choosing a title company. They're going to maybe have their own. So that's another thing where we talk about you're going to want to be on the phone. You're going to want to get on the phone with the transaction coordinator like or the title company, whoever the representative is, 
before even 24 hours. You're going to want to go and make sure everything's good. When you're doing EMD lending, you really are going to have about an hour, maybe two hours work tops per deal. So it is a little bit passive, but you do have to do, make those phone calls and send those emails and stuff. But you're going to have a total of an hour to two hours of work. If you like we've been saying since we started t- talking about EMD loans, this is a rinse and repeat. If you can do 40 of these, 50 of these a year, you're going to come up, you're going to make, you know, if you're lending $5,000 or 10,000, 20, you know, we also keep emphasizing, we don't want you to lend it all at once when you're getting started. I would wait, you know, I'd wait about, you know, we do these in four week increments or, and then it's in a 12 week cycle. So we got increments, we got cycles. So four weeks, because you know, if, if your client comes to you and says, I'm going to close in four weeks, then you just have to set the money aside and just mentally. It's still in your bank account, and so you have to send it to the title company. So if you if you have twenty thousand dollars, break that up into four loans of five thousand dollars and limit it. That's it. That initially that's where you get started at. What do you have to do? Divide it by four, at least through those those three increments and that twelve week cycle. So you got rinse and repeat. Week one is also week five, and so on. Week five, nine. And then 13, by the time you're in week 13, you've completed one cycle, three increments. You guys are able to take that interest and then you're able to put that on top of the principal. So if you got 20 grand by that time, who knows? You might, you know, 12, 12, 12 times, you might be able to actually add another six grand. So now all of a sudden you've got $26,000 for that next cycle. So that's a pretty good deal where you can go out 6,500 you guys see that it exponentially increases. That's a 10%. Uh, next week, Kevin and I are going to go through some of the stuff after his meeting tonight about some of the, the, the differences in rates, what you charge compared to, we're not going to do any of it tonight because it's like, there's a few things we still have to iron out with the, um, who, we're ta- who we're talking to tonight. Because um, obviously if you're putting, if, if you're putting money, like I said, and it closes the same day, both the A to B and the B to C, you are getting, there's, there's a lot less risk. The more risk, the longer it's out, the more you want to charge. Theaters are charging almost 50%. I don't really want people to, I'm asking people not to do that because I think it's usually, I think you're that eventually. That. When you're in yeah. a 30, 30 day period, you're going to yeah. do that. Yeah, but I mean, not a lot of 30 day periods. Yeah. It's going to be rare. And you guys have to, you guys will get to approve it. We're saying, you know, if you're brand new to this, you probably don't want to be doing stuff 30 days. Holding no. for thirty days. If you are new, you want to do these on the on the same day, same week. Um, really get get in and out within five to seven days tops until you get really you know you've done a lot of these and you can afford to put five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars out for thirty days. You know it's good. You're gonna get your fifty you know fifty percent if you get fifty percent and you got ten you know twenty thousand dollars out there. You're making ten thousand dollars. You could do that ten well, times a year. Remember, the math on it usually comes out about the same anyway. Yeah, uh, it's all about frequency. If you're if you're if you're doing a seventy-two hour loan, you know why are you doing more than 15 percent on that interest? It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so you could probably turn that thing what twice a week, usually eight turns, not four. All right, so you've got ten percent of your money out for eight times. On a ten thousand dollar deal, let's see here. That's what eight grand back, something like that. Yeah. In one month. Well, once you yeah. compound, once you compound it, you just add the interest back on right away. So if you've got a thirty day deal, fifty fifty percent makes sense because you're not making as much money on the longer ones. You may have to, you know, that's the point. So you have to make it per where it works for whatever you're doing and. You know, for me, it makes sense to do the shorter terms. It's safer. You could do four loans at once on a $20,000 pie or two loans at once on a $10,000 pie and just roll them that way. Yeah. It's It's all about safety, security, and and making common sense. But we're we're trying to recommend people don't start at doing 30 day loans. Start at, no, not at all. Start daily loans, three day loans, seven days. You know, you guys get it in. You, know, you don't want to get more than seven when you're starting out. Yep. So like I said, guys, there's going to be a lot of things when you look at this. And, you know, I'm going to be adding the check boxes, the signature boxes, just to clean it up. Um, we talk about default. The lender may take legal action to recover the loan amount. 
guys remember that the title company what what you're getting repaid on is you're getting repaid at time of closing by the title company or escrow agent out of the assignment fee so if the assignment fee the wholesaler is making twenty thousand dollars and you're getting repaid fifty five hundred then their assignment fee will be fourteen thousand five hundred that's the cost of doing business for them so we're going to try with this one-on-one group is to hopefully get a lot of wholesalers in if you're an emd lender in the group that way you have a, a client base of people that we are able to monitor and work with you if you're developing if you're brand new if you're experienced and all the way through it kind of like just with the advisory board and kevin and i and, Je- and some other people jesse and stuff we're going to be able to watch out and make sure that you know hey things are going smooth and all that stuff and hopefully giving you recommendations on when you should increase frequency of your loans or the time length. If you're ready to, you know, do a two week or a 30 day, you know, we, we kind of are going to make sure that in that group that, you know, everyone is, um, you know, everybody, everything's good. It's like a back office. It's like a cross check. It's like you check some balances, making sure that you got people, no matter what we're doing, anybody's doing flips, anybody's doing rental properties, things like that. The group is it's still the associates group. Maybe they're able to at least provide advice and kind of, checks and balances like on your deals, like, Hey, okay, you, you should be, you know, let's, let's see if we can help you make more money. It's about income streams. It's about income, cash flow, wealth, and assets, the four things and then getting some time back. You're, you're not getting time back. You spent last month or a year, but you can make your future time more efficient, which allows you to do your hobbies, your family, anything you like to do that, you know, you can start enjoying uh, what your, your success in the real estate industry. So we want to basically, that's the whole idea of the group and calling it the associates. The one-on-one group, like I said, is going to be a basic one-on-one. There's going to be only 10 to 15% of what you guys get in associates is going to be given to them some basic of the basic forms, basic contracts, stuff that's going to be going to you guys as potential business partners, as lenders, as investors. And then if you guys are doing your own deals, obviously you guys are working with the associates who are in this program with you. Everybody's already knows each other. You know, and you can talk to each other in the, in the Facebook group. You can, on these Zooms, Monday nights. We want people to come on Monday nights. We want Monday nights to be busy. We want 25 or 30 people. We understand there there's some people on Wednesday nights who don't come because, you know, there are some people that are doing different things as far as real estate. And we do have about 10 people that are experienced that are just using the group for the documents that I, that I have. So you, that's why you don't see some of them. Some of them are just, you know, they join to scale their business and have access to you know, all those stuff that we have, the process systems, the front and the back office stuff. And you guys know the difference between a front office and a back office. Really, w- the way that I view it, a back office is like everything that's your, you're taking care of all your your numbers, your office management, your accounting, your, your all your processes and systems. Your front office is your public presence, your social media, things like that, you know, actually doing the deals, networking, going to meetings, going to events, and that education is what I consider the front office. It's not really, you know, the real technical version, definition of it, but that's what I consider in the back office. So the associates group is kind of having an auxiliary of your back office with, you know, up to 100 people. There's going to be 100 people in here by the time, you know, by the end of October, by the end of this month. And we want to make sure that everyone is, like, everybody's kind of like a business partner in a way. Everybody's going to look out for each other. Everybody, you know, builds a value. It's a team effort. It's team encouragement. We don't want anybody to fail. We want to help everybody become more efficient. Um, everybody learn, you know, get better at their numbers. Numbers don't lie. Your deal analysis and your deal structure helps you make more money. Um, things like that. Underwriting. It also is better better ways of uh, finding properties, of deal sourcing, of lead generation and skip tracing. Like, if you use Privy, what are the three things you guys are going to pretty much eliminate? Yeah, you, you can eliminate skip tracers, lead generation services, which is cold calling, yellow signs, bandit signs, all that. You also don't need skip tracers. You would guys have virtual assistants. You'd see, like, when I tell you people about the 250, 300 uh, people who contact me a month, I'm going to say probably a third of them are skip tracers or VAs. One immediate, and I just block them because I don't need them. You know, it's like I can, if I use Privy and I'm, you know, I'm still trying to look for a commercial, something that is for commercial, but Privy is the best source out there. 
you guys sign up for privy, you know, you don't, you can imagine what, you know, spending a thousand dollars a year for privy compared to what you would spend on an assignment fee for a wholesaler. You're spending a thousand dollars flat. All that other money that you had on skip tracing, lead generation, and wholesalers assignment fees, that's going back into your pocket. That's going into your bank account. So you're able to with privy to eliminate three things. If you use the EMD lenders in the group, we've got a few people talking about gap. Gap's a little bit more complicated. We're still going to have to work through that one, which we will because we just worked through EMD since July. Um, we're going to basically, you know, if you use Casey's company, with Casey and Clint, with life changing. If you work with Willie, you work with Simi, work with Gwen, you work with a couple of the people we're adding. I've got two lenders coming on this week that are good. You work with Cameron Barry and his team. Um, you guys are going to be golden. You guys are going to be able to get any deal done you want. Like I said, uh, life changing can do deals in almost every state, but Alaska and Hawaii, and they've got programs for flips. They got everything, guys. It's like every time I mention something, oh yeah, we just did one. So I think Casey's trying to get on. He's in a meeting. He's he is actually on the Zoom, but uh, hopefully he'll talk in a few minutes when we get an update from him. So just kind of going back, you guys just really will kind of want to look through this. Uh, like I said, I uploaded it today. Just keep in mind when you go through it, like I said, this entire section is going to be uh, cleaned up a lot. And up here, I'm going to obviously put the check boxes and signature boxes. That's a pretty good document. So I want you guys to kind of to take a look at that and give me feedback, like I said, by the weekend, maybe by you know Sunday, Monday, get it back to me. I can clean it up. By then, I'll have all the check boxes and signatures. I'm just waiting for feedback. I'll clean up that last page. We'll probably add another page just with all the boxes and stuff I'm going to add. We're ready to go live next week. You know, so we're good. we got the EMB lenders. Um, we'll identify who they are for you guys, who has indicated. Um, right now, I think collectively we're sitting on something like two and a half to $3 million. I have to go back through and go through about 20. I think there's 22 or 23 people in the group that have indicated they can lend EMB. So we're going to try to put that together. And then we'll have the board also. We'll get advice. The board people will have a couple of people that'll be working on a weekly, like a weekly tally. What do we got this week? You know, if we got, you know, we got this much committed for closings this week. We got this much committed to closings next week. If you guys, like I said earlier, five, 10 minutes ago, we want the people to break it up when you're starting into, if you're brand new, break it up into four weeks, into four fours. That way, you know, like I said, your week one is your week five is your week nine. By the time you're in week 13, you've completed one cycle. You've got some experience. By the time you've completed, you know, two cycles, you're awesome. By the time you're into the third and fourth cycles, you pretty much are going to almost come close to doubling your principal. And that's going to be good. And then you could either pull your principal back out or imagine you started 20 in six months, you got 40. Then you start loading up that, you know, 10,000 at a time. You do that 20 times. You know, you guys could, you guys could then, when you have experience, you could actually just add that principle, but you know, that interest every week, it's almost like compounding in a way. I've used a compounding calculator, making a few just modifications. And I've, you know, it's pretty incredible what you guys could do in a year, what you could do in two years, three years, which could allow you, you know, working with Cameron's program, doing short-term lending, it can help you actually be in a position where you could own 50 rental properties, you're loaning money, you're building up. And then all of a sudden year two or three, you guys start buying those assets as larger assets as multifamilies. Imagine then going to be able to buy a hundred doors, 200 doors, 500 doors, or you buy multiple STRs, luxury STRs. We, I saw a post today and I have to get in touch with a guy. He's doing luxury STRs. These are like, you know, it's really high end homes and stuff. And you guys are on Monday night, that home in Evergreen that Danny's uh, talking about, that could almost be a luxury Airbnb. Is it close enough to the it is resort? a luxury Airbnb. Yeah. yeah, it could be. A, 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 it's very, where it's at in Evergreen, it's a very affluent community. It's a hop, skip, and a jump from, you know, Summit County, which is where Breckenridge and Keystone and Copper Mountain, but also Echo. Echo Mountain is just up the, just like five miles up the road from there. You know, Echo Mountain just told it's going to reopen. Um, it's a little, they sold it off and became a private. We had a lady actually move by the old ski mountain just for her because her kids were training to be Olympians. And you get the Loveland up there too before you go across the tunnel. Yeah, Loveland's, but I mean, Loveland's not as sexy as Breckenridge. <laughs> and I don't ski guys or snowboard. Believe it or not, you guys want to laugh. I've never snowboarded in my life. And I live in Colorado. I live 50 miles from the 
the resort. I skied when I was a little kid. Uh, you know, like I think the last time I skied was like sixth grade. It just wasn't, and I lived in Steamboat, guys. I worked for the Steamboat Springs Fire Department. I went up on the, res- I went up on the hill, the steam up, and I rode a snowmobile. I rode the chairlift. Yeah, so because I had to go up there and do inspections on the lifts and stuff. Um, but I've never, yeah, I just never have been into skiing. Um, things like that. Um, so there's, some, you guys want to look at like Airbnb short term rental storage. When you guys are doing this thing with these multiple streams, you could wholesale it to other people. Use the EMD lenders in this group as your partners, your lending partners, and then help them. You're able to wholesale it to other people outside the group. We're going to be bringing all these people into the one on one group. So, like, you guys are going to have clients. Well, you're going to have clients in there. You know, everybody's going to have clients. Cameron's going to have clients in there. Uh, you know, hopefully Casey and his company, they'll have some people in there. Everybody that's doing EMD lenders will have people in there that they can actually do deals with. And we're going to be raising up. You guys, collectively, the associates are going to be like the, the, the coaches and the mentors because you're going to have a lot of people looking for help and looking to partner with you. And you guys have the background. You have a lot more resources because, like I said, we're not giving them everything. They're going to get a couple of the basics of every little thing that we've talked about. And then you guys can we'll say, hey, you guys be in that group and go, hey, so my goal is to cap it at about 3,500 uh, people. Uh, so over the next w- two weeks, on October 23rd, you guys know we were doing the Mondays, right? When we stopped doing the Mondays as of this week at 3 o'clock, the 3 o'clock on Mondays. On the 23rd, we'll resume them for the one-on-one group. So that way we... Uh, we're going to be doing those onboardings to bring those people into the group, introduce them to the group. If you guys see the I'll post in this group, if you just sign up once, you'll always be signed up. If you want to come in and be a host, because that's how you guys can get your relationship. So think about it. You guys that are buying one of your flips, you want to run a properties, will you want to, you know, broker deals for them? That's going to be a good opportunity for you to come in and host, welcome people on Monday at three o'clock. If you're able to make it once in a while and come in and welcome them and develop a relationship with them. And then you got the group. We can invite them into the one-on-one group, very basic group, and they're going to be able to be their their level is going to rise to that. You know, it's almost like being a freshman in college. You know, a soft you know, to a sophomore, we're raising up to that freshman sophomore completion level where they're ready to then scale. And by the time they're a scale, the, the associates group will then will then reopen, and then we'll reopen for more associates probably in a year, year and a half while we had the virtual program up. So that's kind of the goal of the one-on-one group is to build you guys a, a borrower, client, partner group. So it's for you guys. Everybody that's an associate will have, like I said, if, we have, if, we're, able to, if we're successful, we're able to get 3,500 people, which is what I think, then you guys have like 35 people for every one of you to work with. That's a pretty solid number. And it's like everybody can work with people across the board. They're not going to be assigned directly to, you know. It's basically a, a, a great concept to bring you guys people to work with. So I, I'm really excited about it. I've been kind of working through my head what I was going to call it because, you know, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of you know, people are like, what are you going to call it? It's like, I'm just, it's, it's one-on-one level stuff. So we're just going to call it the one-on-one group. So it's private money, one-on-one real estate group. That's what it is on Facebook. So tomorrow I'll post the invitation link for associates who want to, you know, so you guys can come in there and start, you know, start meeting people you can do deals with. It's for you. So this whole thing is for you. So if anybody has any questions on that or anybody has questions on the EMD uh, agreement, I'll open it up to questions. I'll take everybody off uh, mute. Other than that, you know, like I said, it's a, uh, we're at the point now, Next after next week, we'll start, you know, we'll, we'll spend the last six weeks in the class doing like analyzers and securities. I still got securities attorneys planning to come on November. I want them last. We're going to do like three nights. I want to basically go through regulation B one time finders. I want to show you how you can find money for people what you legally can and can't do everything in regulation D. We're not even going to go into A. A is so, um, if you do regulation A, you're going to spend $25,000 or $30,000. If you do regulation D, you can spend zero. I mean, you can do it yourself. You want to spend about eight grand and get a lawyer. And we got six lawyers looking at a free too. But uh, we're going to talk regulation D. We'll talk about raising capital, raising capital for yourself. And also, guys, remember that we have databases. Um, we have a database for um, lenders, about 800. You guys can, and it's searchable. We went over that. We showed you guys that again last week. Um, if necessary, we'll do it one more time before Thanksgiving, before we end the Wednesday. And then we have the, the hedge funds. 
hedge funds and family offices 10,000. And those are in Excel and CSVs. They're not searchable. We were having a, we were trying to make it that 2.0, but we just kept running into like, um, it would be, it would over, you can't put 10,000 uh, contacts like that into a, into the pivot table. So we're going to have to find another way to, to get those. But you guys can download those lists. You really want the hedge funds, single family offices, and multifamily offices. Um, you don't really need a dominant or pension funds. But if you guys take the CSVs and you upload them into your LinkedIn, you'll have, you know, out of the 10,000 contacts, you'll have 3,000 friends at hedge funds. Family I was kind of looks cool on LinkedIn. When you start dealing with people in real estate and they look at you and go, hey, you know this person at the Founders Fund? You guys know Founders Fund is Peter Thiel, you know. So if you got, you know, he has he's not on there, but some of his employees are. So like, hey, who do you, you know this guy at the Founders Fund? You know this guy at uh, you know, you know Jared Birchall. You guys know who Jared Birchall is? Anybody in this room know? He's one of the biggest uh, financial guys in the business. He is the family office for Elon Musk. It was exclusive to Elon. So imagine having two hundred billion dollars at your disposal. <laughs> So, and uh, he's actually on that on that uh, family office list. He's on the uh, multifamily office because at one point he did have other clients. I mean, most of his client, most of those besides Musk are like Musk related people. There's some people from like Tesla, some executives and stuff like that. Um, so does anybody have any questions on one on one or the EMD? Like I said, just give me feedback over the weekend. You know, on the EMD form, take a look at it, take a good read through it. You guys that are listening, that are going to be loading EMD, make sure you look at it. Give me some feedback. People have asked me, how do I protect myself? How do I protect my money? There's things in there we're putting in there to tell the title companies this is not part of the EMD, of the normal EMD. It is actually refundable to the lender. It is a loan. It is not, you cannot be, it cannot go hard. So it's a really good way to do it. And then there's direction to pay. They're getting, you know, obviously you're getting repaid out of the assignment fee. So it has nothing to do with any part of the deal. It doesn't affect the deal at all because the assignment fee is still getting paid mostly if it's real if it's a wholesaler. So that's money that's already being paid out. So there's nothing to, it's all justified. Um, so that way you don't have to worry about like, hey, the title company, you know, there's the numbers aren't affected by it. Um, and then we'll, when you guys are going through your first deals, loaning EMD and you're getting these before you agree them, we'll be able to do it on these Wednesday nights and these other nights we'll be able to actually go through them. We can do one-on-ones. You guys can call me. We can do a one-on-one Zoom. We'll go through the numbers and make sure everything's good. EMD is a simple because you're really, like I said, you don't have to go too much into the whole deal, the whole set of numbers. You're loaning you know, $5,000 on the, for the wholesale deal. You don't even really have to worry about the B to C you, you're gonna you're gonna see it you're gonna get it but what you're worried about in the b to c that's where you're getting repaid but then after the closing you don't have anything to do with that deal or that property ever again so it's like you're done you're you're repaid it's good you just want to have a good relationship with your client because you know you want them coming back to you again and again and again you guys know wholesalers and what we're trying to do is also make sure we tell the wholesalers that are out there in every group Stop doing the stuff like kind of like clouding tiles and things anymore. Come and do double closes. Do A to B, B to C transactions with us. We'll have the EMD lenders. And then if they come into this group, this one-on-one group, they're going to have people they can sell the properties to. And you guys will have deals. You can, properties you can deal. You can flip. You, you can rent. Things like that, you know. So you're going to have a lot of properties. Like I said, the one-on-one group is for you guys. It is to help you guys get a lot of clients, borrowers, and even properties for yourself. So. Hopefully we get a couple of different funnels of all kinds of people coming into the groups. Um, yeah, just Zeke, just, you know, and that's what he's asking. If you guys see what Zeke's asking, just let us know next week because we're live next week. So get with us. I think next week, once we're live, I think we'll, you know, we'll probably, we'll be doing that mostly on Monday nights, you know, um, coordinating EMD because obviously we stopped these Wednesdays on this November 16th. So Mondays will continue. It'll be year round. Obviously, you know, holidays, a lot of holidays are on Mondays, Labor Day, Memorial Day. You know, we won't be meeting Christmas. You know, we'll, we'll take a few days off here and there. So it's going to be every Monday night. It will be, uh, and we'll talk EMD. And if you guys can loan EMD money, then you want to get with us and 
we'll put the we're gonna put the board we'll I'll put the board in there again in the next couple of days and let you guys know who the board is. And we got a couple of them yeah, here. The tonight. board's not gonna be dealing with EMD because it needs to be a flash thing and we're yeah. gonna have a separate organization to do the EMD with. But yeah, there's a but just for for grins guys, there's a couple of board members on tonight, Willie and Glenn. Um also AC and his Casey's company has one board seat, but there's, you know, Clint and Ryan are the owners, Casey and you guys met Addison. So there'll be the four people we deal with with life changing and they hold one board seat. Um, a couple other people will have board seats, Matt Cray and all that stuff. So and Matt's, Matt's <laughs> finishing up his slow flips proposal. He's going to get with Bill from London. They're going to, because they do the same things. It's just Bill has some different terminology because there's, you know, you know, you guys ever, you guys ever see like uh, the King Ralph movie with uh, John Goodman? You know, they have a weird dessert over there. They have a lot of weird stuff that like mix, you know, bangers and mash, things like that. So uh, there's some terminology there, but Matt and Bill are going to get together. Um, and then guys, like I said, we've got uh, Monday nights is going to be really just deal night. We want people to bring deals, guys. So if you got deals, bring them in. I mean, I last week we went like an hour or an hour, a little over an hour and a half, I think total. We want to be able to go We'll go three hours if we have to. If you guys, you know, that way you guys can bring deals. If you guys want to hit, hit me up ahead of time, I can kind of, you can come on and present. I'll, I'll have it so you can screen share. You can present your deals just like Danny did the other night, just like Ripa did. Rip is working with Gwen on a couple of deals. Danny's working with a couple of people on his uh, the Evergreen deal, which is obviously, in, it's actually in my, my hometown. So I'm, uh, you know, you guys know that Danny's one of my best friends. So he's my realtor and all that stuff too. So um, he's uh, awesome. So you guys ever need real realtor help, just advice, because, you know, they can't represent you or, you know, take your listing and out of state. But Danny Skelly in the group. And then also uh, you guys know Chris Delphs, who's in Iowa, are two real estate realtors. So if you guys need any kind of advice on how to work with realtors, those are the two guys in the group to reach out to because um, they are very good. I mean, Danny sells the average the average price in Evergreen right now of a home is nine fifty. So it's a very, you know, we have we have two properties right now that are over twenty five million that are for sale. They're both estates, but uh, Greystone's uh, only about a mile and a half from my parents' house, which is it has seven buildings. It's been there a hundred years. President Eisenhower stayed there in the nineteen fifties for like a week, so it's a big estate. Um, so, like I said, the EMD will be live this time next week. So just give me feedback on it, and then. Kevin will have his com his meeting tonight. We'll get together tomorrow. We'll get it all ironed out for you guys and ready to go. You guys can all start making money now. Wholesaling, loaning EMD, getting your flips. You guys know Casey's got a great program in eight states. And four right now, you can, uh, it'll be in eight. It's four right now. You've got Colorado and Texas, Florida, and Nashville side of Tennessee. You can get uh, no income check, no credit check, no appraisal close in seven to 10 days. Um, they're going to eight states. I think they're adding both Carolinas and the other you know, two states. I kind of forget. Maybe um, we'll have him update us. And he's got programs in 48 states, everything but Alaska and Hawaii, obviously, because there's not a, a lot of ability to do comps. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in Hawaii right now since the fires. You know, we're still recovering from fires here from two years ago in Colorado. So, um, and then definitely uh, prayers are with obviously with Ginger tonight. So she's recovering from. So she is out of the hospital now, so it's good. She'll be um, leading the master broker class tomorrow and Friday. And there, Lee Arnold's one of the best in the business. So he's gonna, you know, him and Gary are gonna, his guy, his VP, they're gonna take care of her, get her all set up in master broker. So you guys know when um, Ginger will be a master broker for Kogo, she can partner with you. She can also, she gets 100% everything, acquisition, rehab, closing costs. Um, on Kogo. So if you guys go to Kogo's Capital's website and you see their programs, she'll have 100% and she can partner with you. And uh, it's awesome. And she gets 70% of ARV instead of 65%. That's really good. And it's pretty quick when you're a master broker. The master broker class at Kogo actually, you know, they spend, the students spend the entire week there and they work in the underwriting department. They work in the transaction coordination department. They take phone calls. They use that deal back. They use they they collect data. They they actually work on loans, um, so they come out really ahead. You know, I took the forty hour class to Kogo to be a certified private money broker. This is master broker. It takes a five days. 
I was supposed to go to it during COVID, and then of course the COVID classes get stuck, you know, got canceled. Um, so like I said, we're gonna have the EMD live next week, 100. percent So we're good. And uh, you know, back when July, when I started talking about it, I said we're gonna be live in October. We're gonna be live in October, the second week of October. So we actually met our deadline there. So give me feedback on that form, and then um, if you guys get deals, like I said, Monday nights, Monday nights, bring your deals. You know, um, also, if you guys want to, if you guys see Willie's uh, background, breaking news fund manager, I have those. So if you guys need, if you guys need any kind of like visual ads or even display ads for your Facebooks, you know, for your Facebook pages and groups and stuff, get with me. I can provide you guys a lot of stuff. There's some in the, I'll actually make a, a section in the, in the Facebook group. I'll put some of those because that, uh, that way I don't have to scroll through them and find them. But that way, if you guys need to get stuff, you can, uh, you know, you can have access to some pretty cool because that looks pretty good. I used that four years ago when I started. That was one of my most yeah. common ones. It's all right unless you're doing calisthenics in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like trying to figure out, Willie, what you're doing, dude. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever see MASH when Major Burns was acting commander and you try to make them do calisthenics and Hawkeye and McIntyre are just sitting on the trash cans going like this for jumping jacks. Like, real good example, captains. Um, yeah, so, guys, I mean, we've done a lot of work. It's getting to the point where I just need a couple, just to go over analyzers and show you guys the analyzers. Go through securities raising capital. We've got, what, 11th, 18, 20. We've got, like, six weeks left, and we're done with Wednesday nights. We come back in January, the visual, the virtual program will be up. But we are going every Monday, like I said, year-round. It's always going to be deal night, uh, except for Mondays that are holidays. Veterans Day is coming up. Um, and then, obviously, um, you know, those ones that are on Mondays, all those Labor Day, Memorial Day, we'll, we'll take, you know, we don't have to take Thanksgiving week off because it's not a Monday. Um, but we will take, you know, probably. I, yeah, I got to check on. Christmas and see what if there's a Monday involved with that. Um, but we'll take, you know, we'll probably take about 10 to 12 days off a year on Mondays, but deal nights every Monday. So just count on. And it's pretty much open. It's pretty much an open forum night for you guys. But just remember the one on one group's awesome. So tomorrow I'll put that link in there. And you guys can start joining it. Just, just hit me up and Kevin and I will get you in that group and then. You know, obviously, know that there's not going to be a lot of people there right away, but it, so just you know, come in and you can welcome people or whatever. If you you know, it's going to be only two or three people allowed to be in there because people will have to you know, there is a membership, and so we'll have to process the membership and get them in. But then when they come in there, then you guys can start working with them. So I don't have a whole lot more unless anybody has any questions tonight. I know a couple of people are on. Casey, how are you? Are you able to talk? I think I said you weren't earlier. I know you weren't. Yeah. What's up, dude? Uh, sorry about that. I had another meeting. I still have the day job. So, yeah. Um, I guess I, I caught a little of it. I didn't catch everything, but it sounds like you've got on the EMD doc, you're just looking for feedback and then you're going to run it through the attorney or something. Yeah. The attorney's just going to look at it cursor. He okay. just owes me a favor. So he's going to look at it, making sure it's not glaring. Keep in mind, you know, this is a new, a whole new industry, like EMD yeah. loaning, loaning. So we, I don't know how, you know, eventually, you know, regulators or something get into, get to start getting involved of it. I'm hoping that the gators don't like ruin it for everybody because it's a really lucrative thing. But yeah, I was wondering, do you know, uh, do you know Greg Parham in Denver? No. He is. He used to be lead counsel for a title company, and then he opened his ta his own title company. So he's a he's an attorney, title company owner, and uh, broker. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Send me his info because he's in Denver. I'll try to hook up with. I think it's First Alliance Title. It's been. A, I was I was licensed out there like ten years ago. Um, and okay, he was. Yeah. That was back then, so he's been in the business for a long time. I'm assuming. I've got so. a, yeah, because I've got one of my attorney friends who's also a securities attorney. He's looking at it. 
Okay. Uh, for me as yeah, a favor. Just... But no, I'll try to reach out to him too because I need to get in touch with it. And then we're live yeah. next week. It's really just some cleanup putting the boxes in there. Norris can contribute a lot of good information to it. So if you guys have any information, I just like to get it by, by Sunday or Monday. Monday and Wednesday will be the two days I'll have to finish it and make it look, you know, professional check boxes, signature boxes. Um, I've decided against putting a notary in there, you know, just because I think it's just, you know, it's who knows, it's state by state. If you guys ever feel you need one, you can, you know, get a blank notary form and add it to it. Um, but I think, obviously, guys, it's uh, we'll have it done by this time next week. Kevin will have his meeting tonight with uh, Cameron's people, it's actually Cameron's people that are that are talking about it we'll put some stuff in place with it and you guys will we'll be ready to go after next wednesday next weekend's gonna be the last one emd is ready to go and then we're in the analyzers and securities and raising capital and we'll do a little bit we'll still touch a little bit on the uh on branding and marketing and stuff like that just to close you guys out so you guys are ready to go yeah i was gonna say i didn't know he may be familiar with or your your guy at privy may be familiar with Greg. I, I know that that makes sense because Benson's here. Yeah, back in uh in that time I was at your castle. Okay. Um yeah. and they're very investor friendly, they're investor founded. And we were I think I had like a, some beta version or beginning trial of Privy back then. Um and I just didn't get into it. But um I know yeah, there wasn't a lot there even Benson says that it took him a while to get to get yeah, traction at the MLS. But Greg Parham was in with, not uh, in with, but uh, very familiar with the York Castle guys. So that that pool of people. I'll reach out to Benson and see if he can connect me because Benson obviously would probably know. Okay. Yeah, I'll reach out to Benson tomorrow and see if he can put, put me in touch with him or somebody. Because I also recommend, you guys know John Hornick of privatelenderlaw.com. So I met him at the Bull Conference, which is now MPLA. John's, John can close deals in 50 states. So he's got, a, it's a, and he's a lawyer. So he's got contacts and you guys, a lot of times the wholesalers are going to have a lot of their own title companies. And so you guys are going to want to get in touch with the title company and make sure that, you know, you're going to have to probably at first you'll have a little bit more work to do than once you get this going, just like Kevin and I were talking about earlier, like don't start out putting all your money in one, you know, and don't, you know, but also you're probably gonna have a little bit more work than when you, when you get this down, you're going to have an hour, two hours tops and you're going to make, you know, an hour to make 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks or whatever it's going to be. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's when they rinse and repeating at you over and over and over again, you compound. And I think you can almost compound just like compounding interest. You do these weekly, you do two and three days weekly, just keep adding the, the interest back on. You guys should eventually be able to even just pull your principal back. And then you're just, lend, you're lending house money at that point. Then you build up your, your that. Then you can show that account as your reserves when you guys are working at doing your flips and doing your rental properties and all your own deals. So this is an income stream along with wholesaling, along with, you know, start doing your flips, start working with case company on flips, start working with, you know, Willie, Simi, when all the guys that are, you know, all the people that are on board, they can help you get your deals done. And then, like I said, virtual will be live in January. I'll start building the modules in, in November. Right after we stopped, uh, right after the Wednesday nights, because I'll I'll probably need about four to five weeks during in, through the holidays to get up the the first set of modules and tracks, which are going to be very basic. It's going to be the, you know, because I don't want you know I don't want to you know I want to get people facilitating and hosting, uh, actually teaching you know rather than than me doing. I don't want to you know I get pretty boring fast if it's just me doing everything. Um, I try to bring some people on who can help. Um, so if you guys are interested in doing hosting and facilitating, uh, we'll probably have, uh, maybe in December, we'll probably have a night where I'll just talk, you know, I'll try to do a special event on a, so we can talk to people about hosting, doing mini courses. So if you guys have ever wanted to do a mini course, like the four to six week, you know, thing, or you can do it in, even in hours, you can do like a Saturday or some boot camp or something. We'll have a lot of those. So there'll be an opportunity for you guys to do your own, your own things. And you'll, you know, obviously we'll have a, you know, a, a pay a pay schedule for paying people for that. So we want everybody to get paid from this. This isn't just like hey, <laughs> eventually I want everybody to get revenue sharing. This whole thing was just you know we've been working on this so long. Kevin, I've been working on this for almost four years of getting this uh, with Chris Kalicki getting the virtual up. 
So I don't have a whole lot more than that. I just wanted to kind of go short because I know we covered the documents. So uh, like I said, this is your homework for the next week. For everybody that's watching, everybody that's on, just look at that document. Give me feedback. Uh, try to get it to me hopefully by Sunday. So I have Monday and Wednesday to work on it next final. We're live next week. This time next week when we when we log off Wednesday night, we're live 100. percent So, and I uh, we actually made the my self imposed deadline. <laughs> I said we're going to be up and running by October. We are. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, if nobody else has anything, well, I think we'll just call it a, a night. You know, a lot of people. You know, enjoy your time. Enjoy your Try to, you know, get some things going, hopefully. Norris, I'll get you the operating agreement tomorrow. Anybody need me for one-on-one, hit me up. I'll be available all weekend, um, except for Sunday. So that doesn't mean all weekend. I mean, so, uh, but through Saturday, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, I'll be good for one-on-ones. Monday and Wednesday, I'll be dedicated to getting this document done and getting a few things ready for EMB. And then we're live, and then I'll focus over to the next six weeks. Here's two, three week, two, two, three week blocks. So it'll be a three week block of analyzers, calculators, things like that. And a three week block of security, raising capital. And then we'll do a little bit of marketing and branding for a night. So, guys, I appreciate it. I'm going to log off. I'll talk to you guys later. So. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Cool. Yep.